Whoa, it's three. Yeah, it's three fifty nine. Cool. What's going on, people? Oh yeah, everyone is muted. And hold on a second. I can uh, do the chat deal there. Let's get rid of something. All right. And they're coming in. <laughs> Let's see. All right, and it's almost four o'clock. Cool, that is there. All right, more people are coming in. All right, I'm gonna get started, and I'm recording this just for my personal use, but I will not be putting this anywhere. It's gonna be really not too long. If you got any questions about making a living without a job, you can just go ahead and type that in. And I'll let you know what's going on. This course is different because it's more involved. And the majority of it's done in terms of orientation, getting you started, setting goals, and doing those things. Now, the part that isn't done that will be done next week is showing you the, the hustles. You haven't really seen me that much this month because I've been doing Uber. Now, that's over. You know, I'm not doing Uber as many as often. Actually, I haven't really done much of it this week. And that's because I just did it enough to get down the business model. And now if I do it, it'll just be for stories, usually at night. So now I'm back in the effect and I'm creating better courses because this is the thing that seems to be the issue. Many people want to make money, but they really kind of don't know what they want to do. It's like, do I do eBay? Do I do Amazon? Do I do any of that stuff? And it's a little daunting. It's a little daunting. So I really just paid attention to what people were going through and driving for Uber. Because at one point I was doing it like full time. It took me back to when I had a job. I haven't felt like that. I can't remember when I didn't feel like that in the storage auction business, which was really physically draining. It was a real serious business. I didn't feel like that. Okay. All right. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. I understand. I see what's going on. So it was real strange because I was feeling worn out coming home, not wanting to do anything. I had stuff to do, uh, leaning pretty hard on my assistant. And I was just sitting there like, wow, this is kind of crazy. So I really got to experience what a lot of people are experiencing in terms of trying to work a job, have a family, and create a hustle. So that made this course really, really different. Because the first thing is, you know, for you, those of you who are here in Hustle University, you've already been getting the course and you're going to get some more today. But essentially, the course is set up where it's probably going to take you two to three weeks to do what's there. And then you can get to the hustles because that's the real cool part. There are so many things that you can make money and intersect and create, but you don't know about it. Like uh, I hosted a live meetup here in Atlanta and I learned about D scout. And then there was all kind. Of, did you know that you can rent out your car? Now I know many people are like, look, I don't want some strangers in my ride. Well, what if you have access to a ride? Are you, I mean, there's ways to look at it because uh, I'm going to there's this thing called relay rides and that's going to be part of making a living without a job. But there are so many ways that you can create income with the resources that you have. And now this is the cool part. What, what I'm doing, you know, for folks who are here and probably on the email list, I'll put that out is after we do making a living without a job because I'm going to stick with what I call short term hustles or quick money hustles, something you can start. And within a week or two, you're actually making money. eBay is not in that mix because eBay has the potential where you can make a sale the first day and it still takes you 21 days to get paid. Amazon FBA is doable, but it's still not quick money because you have to buy stuff. You have to ship it and you it could take two, three or four weeks for you to get paid. But you're spending money. 
So what we're going to do is be able to generate hustle money very, very quickly, which will be decoding Craigslist for fast profit. After I go ahead and put all of the, the hustles together, like I know you heard of Tash Rabbit, you know, and I just mentioned D Scout and there's relay rides and there's flight car. There's so many things that you can have an access and these things are not across the United States. Some of them are only on the East coast, some on the West coast, but there's ways you can still use these things. So there's going to be a list of things that you can do to make money. Also, there's going to be an ebook, but the ebook is going to come after the course because the course is set up where you can go in, start doing things and start really, really thinking about how you're going to integrate this in your life. Now, one thing that I'm doing and I haven't really talked too much about it was Hustler University. All of these courses are going to be in Hustler University. They're already there. Because the Uber course, that's in Hustler University. The YouTube course, that's in Hustler University. Mentally Becoming a Boss, that's in Hustler University. Making a Living Without a Job, that's already in Hustler University. And Decoding Craigslist, which will probably start in a week and a half. That also being Hustler University. But I'm going to put a pre-sell offer up there. So for those who buy today on the, uh, who, well, for folks who do the Hustle University offer, I'm going to include, because you will also get decoding Craigslist, even if you just stay for a month. So that's just some of the stuff that's going on. Now, if you've never used this format before, and because the reason I have everyone muted is there will be a lot of background noise, there'll be all kinds of stuff. So if you want to ask a question, just look to, I want to assume it's going to be to your right and there's going to be like a little speech bubble. Just type in your question and I'll answer it. Or, you know, if you want to talk, just let me know you want to talk who you are and I'll unmute you because we've got a few people I don't know. But this system, if you want to know what it is, it's called Uber Conference and you can have up to 100 people online at one time. I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty freaking awesome. So if there's any questions about making a living without a job and what's going on and how does that work and how can you make money with it, just go ahead and uh, let it rip. And like I said, you have the speech bubble over here. Let me see. Okay. All right. So making sure that I'm unmuted because... <laughs> All right, that should be good. Okay. Good. So if anyone has a question, just uh, let me know. And while you're getting your questions, uh, unknown. So how long is the course? Great question. It kind of depends on you. If you have a job, which is the way I format the course, it's probably going to take you three to four weeks to do. Or if you just want to spend a weekend going through everything, you might be able to get it done in the weekend. It really depends. Um, when you get to some of the longer tasks, that's going to take some more time. But in my mind, I estimated that someone with a job, it would probably take them four to six weeks to finish. It's self-paced. You can go at your own at your own leisure. You can go as fast or slow as you want. Plus, there will be we'll have get togethers where I was like, OK, once because I can monitor people's process, I mean, progress. So after, say, a week, I may just go ahead and shoot out an email and say, look, we're going to have a and a if anyone's lost, anyone needs a question answered or you can anytime you can just shoot me an email and I will answer that. So hopefully that answers your question, Mr. Unknown. <laughs> Let's see who else is here. All right. Apparently I've got people who are actually on the phone and I've got people who are just watching. Uh, you should be able to hear me. Okay. Oh, someone asked a question so some people can hear me. Uh, that would be Cameron. Can, let's see. 
Let me send this out. Because I should be unmuted. All right, I just sent out a text. See if everyone can hear me. And also, haha. <laughs> yep, Jay, if you can hear me. Okay, so people can hear me. But also, just as a backup, I'm recording this with uh, ScreenFlow. So if something happens, I don't know why you can't hear me. Because other people can. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I would suggest log off and then come back. Okay, yeah, a lot of people can hear me. So just log off and come back and see what happens. Okay, all right, so we're good to go. Uh, can you explain again what's included as part of the course? Who is unknown? I'd like to know who I'm talking to. Because everyone else, I can see a number of something. So who exactly are you? Give me a name. Because it's kind of weird just saying, well, unknown has this question. Stacy. <laughs> All right, Stacy. This course is a process. Making a living without a job is a transition. Most of us have jobs or had jobs. So you're going through this space of how do you transition from I go to this job, I go to this place, I get a check every week, every two weeks or once a month. So there's a transformational part of the course. Then what we will do is after you are look at it as a map. That's a better way to say it. Look at it as a map. Here you are. You have a job or say maybe you don't have a job. So you start here learning how to think differently and create a business process. So I'll take you through a set of steps where you create goals, you outline your talents, and then you start businesses. Then at another juncture after that, I give you how to make Uber work. I will give you and also, you know, decode and Craigslist will be for anyone that buys in. Now they're going to get that. Teach you how Craigslist work. Teach you how Tash Rabbit works. Um, teach you how D Scout works, which is an interesting thing. It's just you sign up and you do these surveys and you get paid. Teach you how relay rides work. So essentially, you're going to get a process on how to go from being an employee to an employee to an employer or just self-employed. And then I'm going to give you what I call money making apps. There's so many things out there that you can use to make money that people really don't know about. Uh, there's this site on um, the clutter where you so you can sell your CDs. So there's going to be a glossary of all of these things that you can do to make money. Now, in this new economy, you have a lot of people who have two and three jobs because part time jobs are. I'm not going to say that plentiful because sometimes those can be hard to find. But what about stacking your hustles? I'll give you an example. Say Uber has a is pretty strong here because Uber is not the same. If you're out in the Ozarks, your Uber pay is not going to be the same as someone in New York. It's just not. But say you're in the moderate market and you can work four hours a day and make 80 to OK, uh, make 80 to maybe one hundred and fifty dollars consistently. You know, we have to look in consistency, because if you make two hundred dollars this day and you make no money the rest of the week, that's really not a good thing. But consistently, you know, you, you make two fifty to five hundred a week after paying Uber and gas. All right. So that's kind of like an anchor hustle. That's something you can count on to pay the bills. <laughs> Some of these names you can count on and you can pay the bills. Now, say, you know, we have someone in Hustle University, Karen, she makes soap. Say you make soap, say you make um, candles, say you make crafts. But your problem is you need money to make your crafts, but you also got to pay for the lights and food and all this other stuff. So you have your anchor hustle, which is still a hustle and it's still flexible. Then that gives you money to pay the bills and buy supplies. Then you pull in a secondary hustle, say Craigslist. And you format it because what people do is they don't 
strategize and they don't format Craigslist. Craigslist is a, you can make more money with Craigslist than you can with Uber. But the thing is, the money doesn't come consistently as Uber. It comes here and there. You may have a week where you're hitting Craigslist hard, nothing happens. Then two weeks later, your stuff comes in, you make two, three grand, but you've got to pay your bills. So you need something that can pay the bills and give you, uh, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Uh, but once again, I am recording this because gremlins tend to happen. The call keeps cutting in. It could be um, as someone comes on because people are still coming on. So every time someone comes in, it probably cuts me off. Mute, then unmute. Okay. Well, this is what I'm doing. I'm recording this and I'll put this somewhere so everybody can get it and it'll be more congruent. Because one of the things about dealing with platforms and technology is you have to be prepared for the, un for the unexpected. Because I've used uh, Uber Conference quite a few times, and <laughs> it was uh, error-free. Then all of a sudden, I get a lot of people on, and now it's acting a fool. So let me send this message for folks who may be there. Okay, I am recording this. Okay, I don't know why it's muting me and unmuting me. And we'll make it available. Make it available to everybody. Because I was just going to do it. But since we're having technical issues. I had to have a backup plan. And this is one of the things that happens when you do live stuff. When it's going live, you just can't like switch it. So. You, you, if you're here, you're not going to miss anything. And whatever I said, you will still be able to get a hold of that because more people are, yeah, coming in. So, but essentially, you know, to answer Stacy's question, you are getting a system in a format to, to shape up your hustle. Like go with Craigslist. If you wake up every morning and go to the free section, You'll find stuff to sell. Some days will be horrible. You'll go look at the stuff and the stuff is not what they said it was. Then there are days the whole week, every time you go out, you will get something awesome and great, which you can sell because, you know, your only money in that is gas money in your time. So you sell it, you make a lot of profit, but it's the inconsistency of Craigslist. And that's something that I really never thought about because when I was in the storage auction business, we had money coming in from eBay. We had money coming in from Amazon. We were selling stuff on Craigslist. We had a private list of customers. So money was always coming in. So I wasn't really keyed in on, well, you know, we didn't sell anything on Craigslist today. But if that's all you're doing, that's very large and it's very noticeable. And also going back to what I just said, we had money coming in from eBay. We had money coming in from Amazon. We had money coming in from a private list. We had weekend sales. So we had different revenue streams. So when one was deficient, the other one's covered. And that's what making a living without a job is about, is creating more than one revenue stream. Like I said, say you want to start a cleaning business, but you want to get a certain kind of customer. You don't want to just take any and everyone. You want that person that you're going to go clean their house. They're going to pay you exactly what you want. And they're really not going to bother you. And they're out there. But if you are, only thing you're doing is cleaning, let's go with the Uber, all right? Say you've got your ads on Craigslist. So you do Uber in the morning, and then if an ad comes in, if someone answers your ad for have your house their house clean, you can just go do it. But it wasn't what I called a lost day, where you're working hard, you put yourself out there, and you make no money. That becomes very demoralizing. It becomes extremely demoralizing. So... Let's take away from Uber and let's go with um, one other strategy of becoming a personal concierge for people you know. See, everyone has needs. Everyone has something they need someone to do. But since you don't communicate with people, people don't know that. So we'll talk about that. There will be a section on what's called lead generation. And, you know, if you don't know what lead generation is, and I'm not trying to be insulting, is lead generation is what I do when I give away my free audiobook 
and then I get that person's email address. If they like the book, they may be interested in other things. So I create what's called a sales funnel. And this is stuff we'll talk about because you can do the same thing. Use Craigslist to generate leads. Use YouTube to generate leads. Um, use Facebook to generate leads because what you need is the ability to market to people when they're not online. You want to be able to push out your marketing because, you know, there's two things that I do in terms of marketing is YouTube, which is content marketing, which is always there. And then people just kind of find it. And then there's push marketing where you have a specific offer or something and you push it out. This works for everything. Um, this is something I did with Uber and I use Square. I had a couple in the car one night and it was their date night. And I was just, you know, I told them I was a writer and everything I was doing. And I said, hey, I got an idea for an experiment, which was really a pitch. I said, how often do y'all get out? And it's like, well, we try, but, you know, finding a good place is hard. And my opportunity is like, OK, that's an opportunity. I said, tell you what, give me your contact information. And what I'll do is I'll create an experience for you. And, you know, I'll make it inclusive, you know, with dinner and everything. And, you know, I'll run some prices by you. And that's okay. So I went ahead, did a little research, set it up, send them an email and say, look, you know, I can pick you up on this date. We do this, 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 this. They went for it. And I netted out at $125 for about two and a half hours of work. Now, there was a lap because I picked them up, took them there. Then I picked them up and took them back home. So, yeah, really, I don't even think it was two and a There was like a four hour window, but I actually only worked about an hour yeah about an hour hour and a half so that was just something that was sitting there and a lot of uber drivers don't really take the fact that they're independent contractors and they need to get customers outside of uber and to tell you that 125 bucks that i made let's just say four hours uh that's typically what an uber driver might make on a good morning 125 to 155 or in some markets they may make two three hundred bucks it just really depends on what tier they are but the whole thing is that was money that was generated and that's something that you can repeat because they enjoyed the experience. So essentially, unless you've got some really strong thing you want to do, you can create a bunch of hustles that will not just make you money, but reasonably three to four thousand a month. Now you've got some other issues and we talk about that setting up your corporation, because the thing is, if you're doing different hustles and you are collecting money through Square, PayPal, any of these services, you might as well go ahead and incorporate, create a business checking account because that money's tracked now. For years, it wasn't. <laughs> For years, PayPal didn't send you a 1090. None of this stuff just recently came into in, in existence the last 18 months. So if you're going to receive any kind of digital payment, notice that there are thresholds. And once you cross them, they're going to let the IRS know that you're making money. So you might as well just go ahead and incorporate. And, you know, I talk about that, how to set up your operating LLC and how to set up your holding LLC if you have a need for one. So there's going to be a lot of ways for you to make money fairly quickly and fairly quickly within two weeks. Within two weeks. So hopefully that answers your question, Stacy. And uh, I haven't seen any more questions, so apparently I'm not cutting off. Are there any more questions about? 30 days. Uh, I mean, sorry. Is there any more questions about making a living without a job? Anything, anything that comes off the top of your head. So hopefully I think the cutting out stopped when people stopped popping in because <laughs> a lot of folks came on late. Like I said, if you got any question now, I'm going to try to unmute this and then we'll see what happens. If there's a lot of background noise, I'm going to go back and mute everyone. Okay, not horrible. So if anyone's got a question, yeah, now you can talk, you know, just one at a time. Anyone, anyone? Okay, I think people okay, just... Okay, Glendon, I, I have a question. You said that you are going to cover YouTube, is that right? Yeah. Yep, if you join, if you take the Hustler University offer, there's a YouTube course that's already there. So, Yes. I'm sorry, you were cutting out. So you said that you're, it's covered in Hustlers University? Yes, there's a YouTube marketing course already there. Uh, let's put it this way. If you join Hustler University and start it with the stuff that was there, it'd probably take you two months, maybe three to do everything. There's a YouTube course there. The Uber full course is there. Um, 
I'm mentally becoming the boss is there. And there will be more stuff in the month of November that's going there. Okay, cool. So the um, so this particular course, you're just going to tap on um, the different areas that you can really kind of make, you know, kind of your hustle, your money from um, in those different multiple streams. It's going to be bigger than that because there are, yeah, it's, you know, uh, I don't know what time you came on, but essentially I'm going to give you a process and a strategy on how to put this stuff together. Because, you know, if you've had a job all your life and then you go thrust into being an entrepreneur, it's a scary thing. And there's a lot of resources online. But the big thing is claiming the opportunity and saying, OK, I'm going to become self-employed. I'm going to do this and actually having faith in yourself that you can do this stuff because I got thrown to the wolves. I got laid off three times and then I just became a different person because I couldn't deal with it no more. Right. So, you know, did that answer your question? Yes, sir. Okay, Thank cool, you. cool. Uh, anyone else? Because like I said, you know, if you got any question about the course, I don't care how crazy you may think it is, just go ahead and shoot. Month. Say again? I'm late. I'm going to be a month. Say that again. You kind of broke up a little bit. Is it a course or is it just an e-book? I'm late. I'm just not getting in. Oh, okay. It's a course. It's actually going to be several hours long, and it will also be an e-book. But the e-book's coming at the end of the course. The e-book will be more of a reference guide. The course will be, you'll take the course and you'll have tasks. You'll have certain things that you have to do. Yeah, I'm running late. I'm running late. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No problem. Uh, that's what I'm doing this because I'll put stuff out and sometimes people don't know exactly where it's going to go because this was very different. Um, let's see. Give you an idea. Hold on a second. If you got any questions, you just hit me up and I'll do this really, really quick. Question. Um, do you make yourself available for coaching or is that something different? Oh, uh, yes, I do that. That's, you know, that's actually on the, the product list that I sent out. But you can just email me and let me know what you want to do. No problem. Let's see. Uh, where is it? No, just ask any question, anything that comes to mind that you want to know about making. Because the thing is, sometimes I think the Uber thing kind of awakened me to how far removed I am from the regular job life. Because I, I really have not done that stuff in years. So it's a little different for me. And I had to kind of put myself in your shoes to really get a better idea of how to help you make this transition and I'm trying to do a screen share to just kind of show you what's there and there's actually going to be more because once you get into this you'll see that it takes a little time and it takes some consistency and I don't think the screen oh. okay so this is this is just for the gumroad folks because there's uh, more in Hustle University but you know you've got your first lecture Making a living without a job, real session, think it's illegal. I wasn't going to put that in there, but I put that in there because so many people think that if you don't have a job, hold on a second. Okay, I muted everybody so I can do this. Uh, I put in there, is it illegal? Because many people feel that if you do not go to a job somewhere that you're doing something shady. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I break down the part about realistic expectations. All right. Then put in realistic expectations, personal inventory, creating deals, creating the money train, creating the budget and job cre and, uh, creating income goals. So I put that up there. Um, 
So if there are any more questions, and like I said, when we do, I think when I get into decoding Craigslist, that's going to be really more helpful because that's a little bit structured. I've done maybe 7,000 different deals on Craigslist. And the thing is, you can use Craigslist for lead generation for many different types of businesses. And many people don't know that because it's worth being flagged. It's worth dealing with the crazy people because that's one of the ways that I sell my books that I have under another name. I use Craigslist. I put samples of stories up. Uh, people email me. Then I send them a link. And that's how I've been directing traffic to that. Because if you're selling something, your biggest thing is not the quality of your service. I mean, I know that's going to sound kind of crazy because everyone's like, if you make a quality product, they'll come. That is not true. There are other products. Uh, I'll give you an example. There's Uber, there's Lyft, and there was this company called Halo, which was based in London. Halo was trying to do everything right. They were meeting with the governments and $100 million they had. They failed. They just left the market because they couldn't compete with Uber, who's just has a I'd rather beg for forgiveness than ask for permission type mentality. And that's what I did when I had the storage auction business, you know, running my business out of the warehouse. Cause I talk about that in the course. Um, my thing, and that's why I did illegal. If you're not killing anyone, if you're not lying to anyone, you're not breaking some serious laws. It gets a little dicey because, you know, as we all know, many years ago, marijuana was illegal in most places, <laughs> probably the next decade, it's going to be legal everywhere. So, that's one of the things you have to look at. And, you know, I would not say do anything that would put your freedom in jeopardy, you know, because like you get a ticket, that's illegal. You know, you're speeding, that's illegal, but you don't go to jail unless you pay a ticket. That kind of stuff, I'm, I don't have any problem saying, you know, know the law and kind of flirt with it a little bit. But nothing that's going to put your personal freedom like anything, you know, if you do it, you're definitely going to jail. I would say stay away from that stuff. But, you know, what I did. I uh, weighed out the risk of running that business from the warehouse. I said, what's the worst thing they can do to me? They can fine me. The fine was 500 bucks. We were making two, 3,000 a weekend. If I had to pay a $500 fine for you know a month, it was it was it cost of doing business. That's how I looked at it. I never got fined and code enforcement came by four different times, but I don't really think they knew what was going on because we were only open on the weekends. And as you know, most government employees work Monday through Friday. So. <laughs> that's why I did the illegal thing. And I go into that a lot more, definitely a lot more. Are there any more questions? Okay. I don't know if this thing is messing up. Uh, I'll just send this out and like, you know, excuse me if this thing's messing up because I've never had this many people on here before. So that could be part of it. And bandwidth has an issue. Let's see. And I'll send out an email. If you're on the email list, you'll get it. And I'll break down this thing even more. So just a quick check. And let's see. Okay. I think this thing has fizzled out on me. So... <laughs> <laughs> with that i'm just going to end the call i uh, just want to say thanks for everybody that came out and i will just put this somewhere and uh, i'll send out an email and then you can check it out i'll do that as soon as i get off this call once again thanks for everybody coming out and i will see you in the next session